And as we approach the festive season, NDTV interacts with D-Decor in uh, how brands have been impacted by the pandemic and how digitization of businesses has in fact led to new trends emerging at the moment. So just ahead of the festive season, we are speaking to Mr. Sanjay Arora, Managing Director at D-Decor, and going to ask him, you know, the, the expectations of the festive season. Thank you for your time. And I'd like to begin by asking you, yeah. Yeah. of course, you know, we are still in the midst of the pandemic, but people are finally stepping out. People are finally, you know, a large percentage is finally fully vaccinated. So what are your expectations from this festive season? Thank you for having me. Uh, this Diwali, definitely we are seeing a huge demand. It is a mix of a pent up demand also because we were in a lockdown from April to May. And even otherwise, the organized branded players like us who are offering great value, a great product mix. We are seeing uh, supply as the challenge, not the demand. All right, you're seeing supply as a challenge. That's interesting. And um, your supply, of course, comes a lot from Tarapur. So if you could take us through the domestic market and the percentage of exports that you're looking at. So D-Decor is 50-50. Uh, we have 50% exports and 50% domestic. And both of them are growing for us at an equal, we are seeing a compounded growth rate of about 17 to 20 percent. And But the only, like I said, the supply is the challenge because of the costs. The input costs are going very high because of various reasons, the yarn prices, the coal, the color chemicals, the shipping costs. That is the only challenge on the profitability side. But otherwise, I mean, things are looking very, very good on the demand side. All right, so things are looking better on the demand side. If I were to ask you to, you know, take us through the new trends that you're witnessing ever since, of course, work from home is now here to stay. People want to redo and, you know, renovate their home spaces, their comfort zone in a way that they never thought they would earlier. Um, so would you take us through the new trends that you're witnessing? So definitely people being at home, spending more time at home, they want a much better upgraded home to make it look good. We are seeing a lot of trends like curtains are being Blinds are now coming in in every room. Curtains are being replaced in blinds in some areas like with the rugs is becoming very important for us. Our bedding business is growing aggressively because we are giving great products at a very, very uh, sensitive price. And it's overall we are increasing our product basket that we want to have the complete range for the home with D-Deco. Yeah. All right. If I were to then ask you, how has the pandemic really impacted the pricing strategy for the business or the sectors that you're attempting to reach out to? Or could you take us through that? So we are always, uh, we are catering to the growing Indian middle class mainly and the upper market. And uh, we have price points all, I mean, mid to high, not very high price points. Uh, but end of the day, we are supplying, I mean, we're giving great value for whatever we are delivering the right product at the right price. All right. Of course, increasingly, we are seeing brands on the digital platform as well. Yes. Um, E-commerce and digital are sort of the way forward. Yes. And how do you see that impacting home furnishing, you know, as a sector as a whole? So we are in all these e-commerce platforms like Amazon, etc. But s still, I think people are more, we are in the hybrid. People want to see the touch and feel. So the 1800 multi Branded stores are very important for us. The consumer wants to feel the touch, see the color, and take it up from there. Right. But we are trying to make it conducive that, you know, from our website, they can go, they can select, go to the nearest store, etc. But the pure purchase is still happening from the multi-brand outlets. All right. And if I were to end by saying, you know, compared to last Diwali or the last two Diwalis, how would you see this Diwali in terms of, you know, could you quantify it in a way for sales? Definitely. We are... In fact, we are not even comparing 2020 because 20 was a COVID situation. From 19, we're up by about 30, 33%. We are seeing like October 19 to October 21, we would be up by about 30, 33%. This is in sales? In sales, yeah. In sales. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for this interaction. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank, thank you. you.